Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. A very short update today, guys, because uh, nothing really changed from yesterday. Just one news, uh, one article to share with you. Indian banks force card customers to promise not to use Bitcoin. And although it seemed like officially you still is you, you still are allowed to use crypto and Bitcoin and make transaction and everything in India. Uh, still, when you try to use uh, banking service somehow, like open an account or something, you'd have to um, agree that you don't use cryptocurrency, don't deal with uh, transaction related to cryptocurrencies. Uh, otherwise, you are not allowed to use the, the those bank bank services, or you're lying to the bank, which is some sort of illegal, right? So uh, that is how the banking system seemed to be. Um, pushing like against the cryptocurrencies well we'll see you know India uh, tends to ban crypto and then allow them their the, the cryptos and so on and so forth so I wouldn't really pay much of attention but still some sort of a FUD news however d despite this sort of news nothing really changed with the price and this proves again the fact that this um, market is not really prone to be forced with the, the driven by the news but just sometimes news are used to as an excuses to as excuses to drive the price somewhere in the desired direction and what would do what what do we see with the price right now actually nothing changed in a dramatic way from yesterday we are in the same sort of um, range of the price somewhere around 3650 uh, by coinbase and technically we are still very uh, look very bearish because um, again this triangle bearish triangle is still um, we are below that point and well you can Technically, you can look at the other triangle, but it's sort of a not really, um, not really, I would say, legit to look at that one because where it had a previous one, you can make more and more triangles as soon the price will go lower and lower. If you will make a bounce like this, then probably, but not not now. So, and also on the moving average, we are very low. The uh, lower than than the 50 days moving average and in principle we we were sort of aimed to um, at least to test the previous low so everybody on on twitter on everyone's social media like analysts they are um, at least expect some of the continuation of the drop anytime soon and on the other hand, we need to realize that every kind of technical analysis works more or less when we are dealing with the high liquidity markets and when it's really hard to manipulate them. And when we see such moves like, like those which we had recently, for example, this one, this one, or the previous ones, then it is more like it, it, it looks like manipulation or at least some of the huge players are just um, buying or selling sort of huge position and it, the, it it drives the price where they want to you can uh, speculate about the futures effects and everything but still um, despite on well on the other hand on one on the one hand it is sort of uh, makes it makes the technical analysis worthless on the other hand at this situation, for example, when everybody is expecting the further drop, then you may think that those uh, people who are driving the price with uh, huge chunks uh, chunks of money or, or coins, they are they could go against the herd and just go against the expectation of the masses and go upside to the upside right now. So really unclear what will happen right now and what I'm thinking is that I would I don't want to 
like um, be too optimistic but the thing is if it will go low we always can buy more right but if it will not go low in if we'll like make a one thousand dollars jump from from right, right now then it will be sort of already like oh it's it's just jumped and i don't want to buy that far i, I would wait for a lower low or something like that and then it will be out of the deal and that would it, that is really like it's it's missing your your um profit and again i'm still looking at the tether price and what I see here is that we have a lot of the volume recently, which is actually growing. And it seems like during the recent hours, for example, there was um, a drop in Bitcoin somewhere around here. And we saw a lot of the volume of Tether uh, as well. So it seems like the price is held, was held around that like previous level, what it was, 3,600 something around here by uh, um, using the tethers tether funds and it it may be the sign a sign that um, tether is tried to be uh, used as a tool to prevent the price to drop that too too far too low so how far will it go how long will it will they um, save bitcoin from the huge uh, major drops i'm not sure but you know when the tether was when the bitcoin was falling we saw a lot a uh, low uh, volume on tether when the tether was when the bitcoin was growing we see the saw the volume of um, tether and right now we see the volume on tether but we don't see um, the rise of bitcoin so i would expect that it is a signature of a huge move uh, to happen anytime soon when and which side i don't know but Looking from the previous um, like view for historical standpoint, I would expect it to go up. And don't follow my trade, don't follow my um, uh, strategy because it's just my personal opinion. Make your own uh, research and make your own decision on, on, on your own, right? Because it, that's your responsibility and that is your money. Okay, guys, that is it for today. Very short and very non-informative, but still I wanted to share with you what I'm thinking right now. So hope to see you tomorrow again and maybe we'll see some more definitive price action uh, which will drive us one way or another. Safe trading guys, goodbye.